Now, staying with weather, a major winter storm is bearing down on Newfoundland and Labrador, and it's prompted weather watchers, weather watches and warnings as it brings heavy snow and strong winds. Let's go to CBC's Jeremy Eaton, who's in St. John's tracking the weather system, joins me now live. Jeremy, I've seen you standing out there waiting for us, so I thank you for that. Tell us what the latest is other than you're really cold. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know what, Hannah? I'm watching that weather smack me in the face, but I've got no problem. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I got no problem standing out here in the cold. But seriously speaking, this has been the first big snowstorm to hit the city of St. John's and the surrounding areas uh, in the, since probably March of last year, I believe. In December, we only got about six centimeters of snow, which is very little for this city. So this snowstorm is going to bring about 15 to 20 centimeters. It started early in this morning. It's been snowing all day and it's gusting up to about 60 kilometers an hour. And as I was explaining to Arthur about an hour ago, when that 60 kilometer an hour gust pick up and that wind blows, it just strikes you in the eye and it really, really sucks for lack of a better word. And it doesn't do much for my complexion. <laughs> now, because of, sorry, because of this weather, what they've had to do is uh, the school shut down early in the morning. Uh, the university, Memorial University was quick to follow that. And then the provincially run College of the North Atlantic shut down as well. And and that means that other things like daycares, which my child goes to, were shut down as well. Now, private businesses remain open and the buses are still on the road. But I just want you to take a quick look at this road behind me. This is the Prince Philip Parkway that goes through the heart of the city from the east end to the west end. It's 3 p.m. here in St. John's. This would be bumper to bumper right now because the university is right behind us and the school's getting out. But right now, as you can see, it's basically at a standstill. Now, we spoke to the city of St. John's deputy manager of public works, Lynn Ann Windsor, and we asked her if the city was ready for the first big snowstorm that they were going to get. We have been fortunate this season not to have too much snow so far. So uh, we do keep our crews busy. There's always things to do in the yard. And being the beginning of the winter season, there is a lot of training and uh, both in safety and route familiarization that we like to do with our staff. So we've been able to keep them busy with that so far this year. Well, we put out all our available equipment and we have our winter shift is in place. So all available staff and equipment will be out. And we will be working, you know, 24 hours a day. Uh, as you know, as required while it's snowing. Now, Windsor said to us yesterday when she spoke to the media uh, that if drivers are thinking about getting on the roads, they should probably stay off the roads. And I just did a little bit of a cruise myself to just to see what it was all about. And it is pretty snow covered here. Now, plows, plows sorry, are trying to get out. But uh, right now, I would probably heed her advice if I was in the city of St. John's and surrounding area to stay off the roads. Hannah? Stay off the roads. There's the bad news. But uh, yeah, let's talk. That's yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Off you go. Thanks, Jeremy. Uh, no, no. All stick right, around. No, just I'm, kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I, I still want to hear the positive side to so much snow out in St. So John's. So you're right. So if people are watching this, say, in Gander, uh, Newfoundland, Labrador, or in Cornerbrook, basically they would just call this a regular Tuesday. But uh, the city of St. John's <laughs> is a lot larger. The city of St. John's is a lot larger. Uh, so a snow like this will, will have sort of a negative impact, as we said, uh, shutting down services and whatnot. But there are a number of people waiting. As I said earlier, 6.2 centimeters of snow fell in December. That's the lowest on record. So that means people haven't been able to get out and enjoy all their uh, holiday toys that they would have gotten, like snowmobiles, slides, sleds, cross-country skis, uh, snowshoes, whatever you want to. So people are dying to get outside. So I stopped by a shop here in downtown St. John's called The Outfitters and spoke to a, a guy named Don about how excited people are that this snow is here so they can finally get out and enjoy it. There's a lot of uh, excitement and uh... I'd say stoke is kind of the industry term for it. It's a lot, lot to do in the winter, so it's uh, get your gear out and have fun. You'd be surprised, once there's a base, it pretty much stays there, and especially up in Pippi Park, like once the snow falls, like it's often there. Your grass might be green on your, at the front door, but if you want to find snow, you can find it. Now, I just drove by the aforementioned Pippi Park uh, moments ago, about 20 minutes ago, and there's a big popular sliding hill there, and there's a number of university students who are taking advantage of their day off and getting outside, despite the weather, to enjoy the snow. Hannah? Okay, so the next hit, hopefully we'll see you going down the hill. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, we'll see you next hour on the hill. Jeremy Eaton in St. John's thoroughly enjoyed <laughs> your hit. <laughs>